collect three power cards. Hey, cool, power cards. Bet if I collect enough of them, I can pick up new... Now to kick in those gates. Just press the attack button to bust those bad boys open. I love Don't this treadmill. Don't the animals. Enough of these balloons, I talk funny. Oh, yeah! Feels good! Hey, hey, Alex! Just the line I wanted to see. Come on, Marty! I remembered it's your birthday, okay? You don't have to butter me up. I was being sincere, man. It's good to see you. Okay, you caught me. I got you something, but what with all my rehearsing, I haven't had time to wrap it yet. Four shows a day. Gotta get into character four times. That'll take its toll, sure. Yeah, four a day. And with all due respect for what you do and your whole treadmill shtick, it's not the easiest thing in the world remaking myself from scratch after each performance. But seriously, man, you've hit the big one all. Only comes once. So, you want me to run you through your routine? Actually, a living audience does kind of help me focus my chi. Uh, just stand still right there. Perfect, Marty. Perfectly stationary. Thanks. Press the jump button to... I think by now we're up to speed on jumping there, Evil Knievel. Okay then, get jumping. Find your three power cards so we can move on. <laughs> Seeing your smiling faces makes it all worthwhile. You should be able to get some extra air. At the top of your jump, just press that freaky jump button again to somersault to higher places. Now let's see you jump through the rainbow ring. The people dig it. It's so nice to interact with the fans. Well, looky here, it's that overly pampered lion. Let's show him who the real kings of New York are. Someone order ranch dressing? <laughs> you can't do your act with those pigeons raining on your parade. Use your attack button to roar and scare them off. <laughs> your pedestal and do the regal pose bit. Get on your pedestal.
Dilly King, don't let those flying rats tell you different. Looks like my work here is done. Maybe you ought to swing by Glorious. You look like you need a little pick-me-up. Nobody cheers up a zebra like a hippo, right? I'll see you tonight at the birthday thing. Now, if you'll excuse me. Maybe Melman can cheer me up. No matter how bad I think things are, they're always somehow worse for him. Marty, what's wrong? Is it contagious? What's wrong? Well, I've just been feeling a little... Oh, things are going okay with me. Except, of course, for the germs. Oh, and then there's the microbes. And then there's the fact that I've been waiting for my medication for the last 38 minutes! Oh, Marty, this is the end! How can you stand it? Okay. I'll see you later, Melman. machine the kids always play. I love this game! Happy birthday, Marty. Thanks, Glow. 
Look, sister, are we going to race or just get in touch with our inner angst all day? They want to race you? I uh, know. Do they know about the... Nope. So they're full of... To the beaks. You heard the zebra. Time to put your money where your mouth is. In point of fact, we have neither money nor mouths. But if you're really up for a race, we accept your challenge. Marty, would you mediate? On your mark, get set. Did I say move yet? I don't think so. In fact, forget it. The race is canceled. Go! It may not be very ladylike, but I can use my tumble attack by pressing the attack button. I can't stop! Wow! Those spicy peppers sure get you moving! It is we that will be victorious! Cha cha that's good! One more lap to go! I'm advancing on you! Out of my way! Your chances of winning are minimal. With all that juice, you can knock out some of those hay bales and find a shortcut. You are beaten, hippopotamus. Cry mercy. Wasn't even close. Okay, maybe it was a little close, but the point is, you still beat those bird brains' brains in. Awesome, Glow. Looks like my work here is done. Guess I'll kick it on back to the curb. Aw, oh, Marty. Don't be blue-striped. Chin up. It is your birthday, after all. And if you like this performance, folks, make sure to stop by our many other fantastic daily animals. Almost enough! What you guys up to? That's classified. Classified? To whom? Looks more like you're just hanging around by a hole in the wall. Absolutely not. We're in the midst of a covert training operation. Trying to bring the private here up to speed in the ancient military art of fishing. Now that I think about it, the operation really isn't so covert. Would you care to observe? Sure. Beats anything else I got going. All right, Private, it's time to prove yourself in the field. Move your pole left and right. Once you're ready to drop that lure, hold down the action button, and when you want to reel the fish in, just release the action button. Look up and down to control how far you throw the lure. Simple, right? Well, let's see you catch some fish. Keep fishing, soldier. Double. Not quick enough. These penguins are psychotic. Fine technique, son. Now let's see you land that green garami fish. You've got the... Do not give up, son. No quitters in my unit. Ha! 
bet my dog could beat up those birds. Outstanding! Now go for only red Eric. Steadfast, soldier. Steadfast. You've got some chops as a fisherman, son. But war sometimes requires creativity. Snare a stuffed lion decoy. May come in handy later. Acquire the stuffed animal decoys. They may come in handy. And hut! Two, three, four. Keep fishing, soldier. Double time. Those penguins are ah! iconic. Recover the hat. Let's see if you can find me some sunglasses. Now get me a bucket, soldier. That was some first class fishing. You've completed your training. Those penguins are cooking something up. Hmm. Wonder if Melman's cooled off enough to talk. That was enough balloons. Let the hilarity ensue right on schedule. Hey Marty, I forgot to wish you happy birthday earlier. Sometimes I get wrapped up in my own problems. My basic hygienic needs are going unmet. Say what? I don't do medical speak. My biohazard disinfectant team is late, again. You just can't get good help. And they're unionized, so just try to complain. Did you ever think about cleaning the cage yourself? I don't even think you have a biohazard disinfectant team. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I guess I could try to clean things up around here. I'm not afraid of a little... dirt. <laughs> Melman, press that attack button to spin that garbage out of your cage. Unless you like those germs. I don't do germs. Oh, gross! Be gone, foul, foul! They're like germs with wings and beaks! Beaks! At last, the cleaning crew. See, Marty? See, see, see? Yep, I'll never doubt you again, Melman. Don't call me on that, though. I'm more concerned with how the chaos affected my immune system. I'm sure it will recover. It's your mental state that you should be more worried about. The zoo is driving us crazy. I just have to get out to the wild. Thanks, Melman. Time to get back to my place and eat some of that fine Kentucky bluegrass for lunch. And dinner. And dessert. many one-of-a-kind sale items. Lovely day for it, old boy. Splendid old bean. Lovely day for it, old boy.
Marty. Uh, speaking. I've heard some rumors about your supposed disposition to the confines of your brick-laden cell. One more time? Different? You want out. Uh, yeah, I do. Welcome aboard the Freedom Express, my monochromatic friend. I'm here to spring you. All you gotta do is stay close to me at all times, and do not panic. I just have one question. If we're trying to sneak out of here without the guards knowing, why are you yelling? That is an excellent question, Stripes. Let me get back to you on that. Here's the situation. The entire zoo is buttoned up tight by a series of locked gates. Each key opens the gate with the matching animal icon. Use the keys at the terminals to open the gate. The first gate we need to open is Gate Ostrich. The Zone Ostrich key is located in the janitor's shed, but the only way in there is a small crawl space. You don't know how to crawl yet, but we can fix that. Three of our operatives have smuggled in power cards. Each operative in sequence will give you their cards. Collect all three and you'll be able to crawl into that shed and get that key. Now follow me to Darnell. Uh, hey, is it time for me to do my special trick? Darnell here has been storing a power card safely in his belly for the last several days. Now the plan is to have him spit it out. You'll need it and two more to gain your next ability. Uh, you sure he's gonna spit it out of his mouth, right? Marty, we better hope so. Okay, here goes. Good work. Now get the remaining power cards from the other two Go operatives. see the other operatives, Marty. The camel and the rhino. Take that! Go see the other operatives, Marty. The camel and the rhino. Um, hey, Nick. Skipper says you might have a little something for me. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> I got what you need. Good. You got the second power card. Now kick those gates so we can get to the rhino and the janitor's shed. Good kick. Careful, thanks. Careful. <laughs> Feels good! Come on! Hey, I'm looking for... Uh, are you okay? Yeah, man, I'm great. Fantastic. It's just like, I've got this horn, you know? And I just have to keep charging. But I'm not really charging anything. There's really no purpose to this action. It's just instinct. I don't have a choice in the matter. This is all a little deep for me right now. Oh, no problem. I know what you're here for. You want a power card. Well, here you go. <laughs> hey, now that you have the crawl ability, you should probably Ouch. go meet up with your penguin friend again. Crawl through this hole. Outstanding! Now that you've got the key, follow me to the yellow gate. Welcome to Zone Ostrich, my monochromatic friend. Here's a gate to Zone Monkey over there at 3 o'clock. You go talk to those oversized birds and see if they know anything. We'll reconnoiter at the drop zone. The next key you'll need is going to be found in Zone Bird. You can get there by crawling through a tunnel at the opposite end of this courtyard. I will meet you over there. 
Look out. I hear hooves. I hate hooves. Do not be discouraged, Marty. They can't hold us in here forever. Oh, oh yeah! Feels good! Go! You may want to consider using those trash cats to your advantage. Kick them at the bubbling guards and watch the slapstick hilarity ensue. Now follow me and crawl into Zone Bird. Take that! Ow! A ruckus? I hate ruckuses. I should probably get back to my post. <laughs> no, I'll just stay around here a little longer. Stripes, I've done some undercover research and determined that you can use these cards to take out a god or maybe even activate a sound pole. A good swift kick ought to do the trick. Oh yeah! Feels good! Using your crawl ability, you can duck behind those hedges up there and the guards won't even be able to see you. I'll be on the opposite side of this birdcage. Careful, Stripes, careful. Oh. Watch it, kid. Oof. Take. Don't say it, don't say it, I've heard it all before. Heard what all before? Very funny. Yes, my nose is slightly gargantuan, and yes, I'm very uncomfortable with that. It's a serious medical condition that affects my entire species to varying degrees. Yes, I am getting a nose job, then I'll make sure to point out all your shortcomings. Settle down, pal. I'm not making fun of your nose. I'm just trying to get out of here without any of these guards seeing me. Well, since you're not here to destroy what little self-image I have left, I suppose I should tell you that if you kick those poles, you will activate those safari noises. The guards will have to leave their posts and investigate. Look out! Who's messing with the sound poles? 
Better not be those kid. That's a sound pole making noise, all right. Kick the poles. You've got the key. Just kick open the gate, then follow me. <laughs> monkey zone, here we come. We're in zone monkey. Marty, come over here. Quietly. Hey, yo! Oh, yeah! Feels good! Careful, Strike. So the next step is for us both to crawl through this pipe, and I seem to have misjudged some key parameters. But at no point did I claim to be an expert on pipes. What I do know, however, are monkeys. Go talk to the ones in those cages, and help us find another way out of here. Hey, I thought you said monkeys were your department. There was some unpleasantness a while back during one of my special ops missions. Better for all involved if you do the talking. Meanwhile, I'll go through this pipe and see you on the other side. Hey, ya! I love this game.
Oh, yeah! Feels good! You're an inspiration to us all, Marty. You're an inspiration to us. Go! Watch it, kid. Go! Look out. Careful, stripes. Where are you going, horse face? You'll not make it out of this zoo if you allow the guards to see you. Keep your head up and your eyes open. What do you think you're doing, quadruped? You're gonna need to use your wits and exercise a little caution if this mission is to succeed. Where are you going, horse face? That kind of reckless behavior will not serve either of us well. If you want to escape, stealth is the only winning strategy. Going horse face. Those guards are no joke, kid. Try to keep a lower profile. <laughs> hey, ya! directly into the path of danger, my friend. What are you talking about? It's the zoo hunter, that nut they hired to run nighttime security. When everyone's gone home, he makes like a fortress thingy out of hay bales in front of the main gate. And watch out for his heavy-duty tranquilizers. You'll need to keep your head down unless you want a quick nighty night. Right on. Thanks, man. Take that! I have no idea how to shut this off. What do they think I am, a rocket scientist or something? I should probably get back to my post. <sighs> no, I'll just stay around here. Look Watch it, kid. <laughs> Messing with the sound poles. Better not be those kids again. I should probably get back Look to my post. <sighs> nah, I'll just Ouch. stay around here a little longer. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Go! Careful, stripes. Careful. Ooh. Oh. Watch it, kid. Take that! Hey, yeah! 
Look out! What about me? I can't just float away. Your balloons ain't big enough. This is where we part ways, amigo. It saddens me to leave you like this, but these are harsh realities of war. Can't you at least tell me how to get out of here? The janitor over there by the main gate probably has the key. Go through the main gate over there. Ah, freedom. So sweet you can taste it. See you on the other side. Whoa! Oh. How'd you get loose? How many times I tell them sissy boys to tighten security around that zoo? But no, they had a budget. Get in formation, man. You're glue, Zebra. I don't know how you got this far. But you're not gonna escape my zoo. You better watch it. I ain't one of those wimpy nature oh! videos, Zebra. Ha 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 You missed me. You're stuck here. Oh, jeez. I ain't gonna let you get away this time. be the right way. Huh? <laughs> Ew! Smells like zebra. Could be any zebra, though. Come on, guys. Marty can't be far ahead. We gotta get to Grand Central Station before he gets on that train. Let's go back. What if they try to pet me? Relax, guys. You're with the King of New York. They love me here. Everything's gonna work out. Right. Let's split up, guys. We'll cover more ground that way. Meet you up ahead. Hey, nice car. Hey. before Marty leaves for this wild place! This has got to be the right way! Maybe once Marty hits the Bronx, he'll feel all wilded out!
to get to Grand Central Station before Marty leaves for this wild place! Hey, mister! Gray leather is so last season. It makes you look mm, stocky. The Mets must be in town. Where is everyone? We have to get to Grand Central Station before Marty leaves for this wild place! The Mets must be in town. Where is everyone? getting whooped here. Strange. The Mets must be in town. Where is everyone? Grand Central Station before Marty leaves for this wild place. You see that lady's hat? Or was it a lampshade? <laughs> this is my turn, Marty. to Grand Central Station before Marty leaves for this wild place! We have to get to Grand Central Station before Marty leaves for this wild place! Arcade games? Surprise Marty's not here. Arcade sure reminds me of Marty. And how mad I am at it! This has gotta be the right way. You have to get to Grand Central Station before Marty leaves for this wild place! Finest. What took you guys so long? Spot any zebras? Looks like he's hostile, boys. Set your tasers to zap. Maybe 
Maybe once Marty hits the Bronx, he'll feel all wilded out. Marty can't be too far ahead. If we hurry, we might be able to catch him. This city gets crazier every day. Marty can't be too far ahead. If we hurry, we might be able to catch him. Maybe once Marty hits the Bronx, he'll feel all wilded out. We have to get to Grand Central Station before Marty leaves for this wild place. Any luck? Me neither. My women's intuition tells me that Grand Central Station is this way. I'll meet you up ahead. Whatever you say, Glow, just hurry! Grand Central Station, here we come! Doesn't look too tough, just a little congestion. That's some tasty pepper. 
Here we go again. I see Marty's tags. He must have dropped them. Really? Where? Well, they're just over there. Great! Lead the way! Are you sure? Uh, okay. I'll be in real trouble if I don't stay above the street. It's really dangerous down there. Walk these streets daily. Hideous! I need to collect the three power cards to activate my helicopter spin move. Millions walk these streets daily. Hideous! I can hover over the steam vents to gain elevation. Millions walk these streets daily. Hideous! There are eight million viruses in the naked city. Smells like a melting pot. What is that? Let's get it! Oh my gosh, this isn't happening. This is not happening! Not liking this! Not liking this! Hey, we're a hot head if you're gonna come from here. Not liking this! 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 I don't know what the street 
streets are paved with you, but they reek! Okay, Marty, I officially hate you right now! Start talking, Zebra. Really? Do you have any idea what running through this city did to my sinuses? Do you? Hey, who are those guys? Relax, they just cops. With helmets? And tranquil... I mean... Oh, of course. Get the lion first. Don't make me come over there and your kick come. Guys, hey, I hope those needles have been sterilized. Melvin, I hardly think that's the least of a... Ow! Take a look at our many one-of-a-kind sale items. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. now. Maybe I am happy. Maybe this is the good kind of capture, where they take you to exciting places and shower you with gifts and sing songs. Why you always have to be so negative, Alex? Oh, right. The good kind of capturing. Yeah, this is the most palatial crate I think I've ever been stuffed into. Sure feel sorry for those poor saps and coach. Look, I don't remember twisting anybody's arm to come with me on this quest. Could you guys please cut it out? This is not helping my sciatica. Would you guys quit belly aching? Let's just try to stay positive and proactive. Here, I know. I spy with my little eye something dark. Oh, that's just great. Shh. But I... Shh. What was that? Well, it definitely wasn't me. All right, men. Now that we're out of those cells, let's proceed to our next objective. And what is our next objective, Skipper? You're a step ahead of me, soldier. Hijacking this boat to Antarctica is looking like the plan. Anyone else have an idea? I personally would consider overthrowing the ship's captain and crew as well. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant by hijacking, Kowalski. You boys stay here and hold the fort while I scout ahead. I'll let you know when it's okay to move up. You scout ahead to find a rendezvous point, then call us up. You scout ahead. All right, I've just got to remember my hand-to-hand -hand combat training here. First, I'll need to slide into the sailor by pressing the attack button. Then once he's down, pressing the attack button again will knock him out with a karate chop. Okay. Now I gotcha. You scout ahead to find... None of these... Hey, what are you 
guys doing? Do any of these crates contain medication? Any kind of medication will probably... So far, so good. Press the action button to call the troops. Roger that. Okay, boys, let's move out. Hut, 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 Looks like we're going through the pipe. Come on, hut! 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 That sailor looks like he's got a few extra Y chromosomes. I better be careful around tough guys like that. Mine, kitty! Scout ahead. This crane gives me an idea. I might be able to use it to take out the guards. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Double time. Hut, 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 Roll. Double time. Hut. 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 We need to get up to that air shaft. Hut. 
you scout ahead. Oh, it's happening again. Something's wrong with our plumbing. Oh, I'm not cleaning this up. What's going on back home? We're gonna take the radio room or die trying. Hut, 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 A crate full of bowling balls, how fortuitous. And those guards over there are starting to look like this. Mark my words, this ship's going down faster than the Red Sox in September. Oh, I knew this would happen. Let's roll. Double time. Hut. 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 Comrades, give me a hand with this ladder, will you? Oh, this is gonna be sweet. They're not paying me enough to deal with this. Lego, giant floating head. Yeah, heads up! You can't do this to me.
There are three gates that stand between us and the upper deck. Use the crane to move us to those buttons and we'll get the gates open. Roll. Double time. Hut. 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 Now, go find the stairs that lead out to the crew area. Oh, the boat feels unstable. The sea is rough and mercury's. This place is getting pretty crowded. I might want to use that cardboard box to sneak by those sailors. I could just get to that tranquilizer. I could sure turn the tables on these guards. Sailor? Huh, I thought my father said Taylor. Eat my dice. These guys are pretty tough. It may take more than one shot to ice them. Yet another locked door. I'll need the key for this one. Now we're going to storm the mess hall. Take no prisoners. Hut, 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 Next stop is the bridge. Let's go.
There's the door to the bridge. This is it, boys. What we've been working for. Let's take it. Now hold on there. This is the end of the line for you ducks. Did he call us ducks? Get him. Get the tranquilizer. It's our only chance. Eat my ducks. Gotcha. You scout ahead to find a rendezvous point. Then call us up. Comrade. Get the tranquilite. Eat my dice. Gotcha. You scout ahead to find Comrades. Get the tranquilizer. It's our eat my dice. Gotcha. Comrades. Get the tranquilizer. Eat my darts. Comrades, give me Get the tranquilizer. It's our eat my darts.
go the spoils. Kudos all around, especially you, Rico. Yay, good going. What next, Skip? We're over the hump. Now all we have to do is simply master the ship's controls and guide us safely to Antarctica. San Diego Zoo! Everybody's probably surfing or at yoga or... Hey, wait a minute! That's Marty's crate! He must be nearby! Or lost at sea forever! Let's go with option one. I better catch up to him and the others. Maybe I can find a directory somewhere. Hey! 
these mangoes are the perfect size to throw. Maybe I can use them to bean one of those knuckleheads who keeps trying to hurt me. Someone I can talk to. Pardon me, I was just... How dare you sneak up on me and try to take my precious pearls, you monstrous kitty cat. Okay, first off, I realize this is San Diego, but where I come from, it's not generally considered sneaking up to approach someone from the front while talking in a pleasantly modulated tone. That's true. Yeah, glad to see we're on the same page. Listen, I really need to find my friends. Have you seen any newcomers like me? The Giants? Yeah, I saw them. Head down to the beach and fetch me six shiny new pearls from my collection. Then we'll talk. Get those pearls, you yellowness. Sheesh. You people from San Diego aren't as laid back as you're cracked up to be. Tell me where I can find my friends. I might have seen them over by the waterfalls. Now scram a -voo! Phew. Sure is hot here. Their air conditioning must be down. We'll have to speak to someone. Hey! Is that Marty? Marty! Over here! You must not be able to hear me. I've got to get up there. in here. They're hard to see, but I think there are fish in the water. but I'll take New York in the fall any day of the week. Information desk is nearby.
Hope I'm not allergic to anything. Hope I'm not allergic to anything. Well, hello there, gigantic beast. How are a chow? How are a chow? Blasted hay fever. Some days you're the windshield, and some days you're the bee. How exactly does a bee get hay fever? Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? We've got a bounty of pollen, but no flowers to mingle with. Have you seen any? Flowers? I've seen acres of them in this zoo. Any chance you've seen a zebra, hippo, and giraffe who probably has hay fever too? No, dear, but I'll tell you what. If you lead three of my swarms to flowers, I'll send out some drones to look for your mates. Sounds good. Finally, a little cooperation in this place. Now, the boys are a wee bit skittish with strangers, so don't be taking too long getting them to their flowers, dear. Take us to the flowers. Take us to the flowers. I generally like my zoos a little more organized than this. Ah, thank you so much, sweetie pie. One of my drones seems to recall seeing your friends walking down that path over there. Take us to the flowers. Hurry up, or you'll be flowers. Ooh. I wonder if the information desk is nearby. Strange about this San Diego Zoo. Take us to the flowers. Hurry up, for you'll be <laughs> I need to find a flower soon. Here are nice, but I'll take New York in the fall any day of the week. anything.
Whoever's are spitting at me. Wow, I'm really getting whooped here. Strange. If I ate that plant, my roar would be super loud. Did you just see a zebra run by here? Ah, uh, yes, the striped guy. Yeah, that's him. Do you know where he went? He could not find something called the reception desk. Then he ran off into the jungle. Looked like he was in a real hurry. I'll never catch him at this rate. Well, if you were smaller, I'd fly you there myself. But I think I'm going to need some help. Will you stay here and guard my mushrooms while I find some of my friends? Sure. Because, uh, you see those cockroaches over there? The moment I leave, those things will try to steal every mushroom I have. If you can save me enough mushrooms, I'll help you out.
Oh, I don't know how much more damage I can take. I tried to give the suit the benefit of the doubt, but I can't anymore. This place is evil! Tried to give the suit the benefit of the doubt, but I can't anymore. This place is evil! has areas like this! An evil one, that's what kind! Take us to the flowers. I tried to give the suit the benefit of the doubt, but I can't anymore. This place is evil! Take us to the flowers. He was right behind us! Alex! Marty! Gloria! It touched my head! Slow down, man! What touched your head? Uh, actually, I don't know, but it was dark and something touched my head. You are kinda tall, you know. Oh. Shh. Guys, do you hear that? Look over there.
visit us. Do come in and take a look at our lovely day for it, old lovely day for it, old boy. Maybe it was just their bedtime. How often do you run to bed screaming? Almost every night. We, we know. know. Hello? Anybody out there? No! That was weird. You think they believe me? Mort, did it ever occur to you that saying you aren't here proves that you are here? I don't get it. Do you think they're friendly? I don't know. It would make me very happy if they were. Oh, would it? Yeah, I would be like so happy. What would you say if I told you I had a plan to find out if they were friendly? That would be neat. What's the plan? Whoa! Ah, what is this? He's kind of cute. Me, please, hurt. <laughs> don't. Oh no, he's a masochist. I don't think that's what he meant. Hi. Ha, ha, ha. What's your name? <laughs> we're gonna be here a while. What's happening? Well, they haven't eaten him yet. I think we're in the clear. Splendid. We shall form a welcoming committee and we shall welcome them. You're not going to eat me? Now, why would anyone want to eat you? A good question, and I will answer it for you. Wait, why would anyone want to eat Mort? Because he's really annoying, Your Majesty. Because he's really... That's not it. It's something else. Because we are lemurs, and fooses eat lemurs. Because we are fooses, and fooses eat lemurs. Fosa? Where? <laughs> no, I, I wasn't... Uh, hmm. Anyway, we would like to welcome your giants who are not going to eat Mort. Where do you hail from? We're from New York. What zoo is this? Zoo? I don't believe I'm familiar with that term. Is that a New York expression? We call this island we live on Madagascar. Madagascar? Marty, do you know what this means? You've actually made it to the wild. You got your wish, Marty. Hey, you're right. I mean, uh, yes, of course. The wild. I can't believe it. So wait, who are you guys again? I am Julian, king of all lemurs, and this is Maurice, and we are the welcoming committee. So welcome, New York Giants! Um, excuse me, I, I couldn't help but notice some of your subjects screamed at the mention of the word Fusa. Is this something we too should be screaming about? Fusus? Well, Fusus are the sworn enemy of us lemurs, the main problem being that Fusus like to eat us. I don't like the sound of that. What do these Fusus look like? They look kind of like... Uh, that! They do look kind of hungry, don't they? Hey, there go my friends again! Wait for me, guys! Do not worry, my new friend. We will meet up with him later, for now we need to find a place to hide until this inconvenience has passed. Inconvenience? These fusa look pretty mean. Follow us. That is the secret passage under the baobab tree. Follow us. Ah! Okay, let's never do that again. So, where do we go now, guys? 
Followers party, a new party awaits. I can't decide if you guys are blissfully ignorant or just ignorant. Hope they're not the electric kind. I knew I should have packed those swimming chunks. What the heck? What the? Even not meant to be swimming around the ocean like this. Get me out of here! Splash around in the water like this. Come on, Bucky. I bet I can use those wobbling rocks to my advantage. You must keep up the pace, there is partying to be had. I kinda like those little lemurs. Sure wish they had waited for me though. Four legs, shouldn't they be carrying you faster? Uh oh, it's the infamous water cave spider. Oh man, now they got spiders oh, that an irrational hatred of stalagmites. Oh come on, now I gotta climb all the way back up. Those swimming chunks? All that work waste. I better get to those lemurs quick. Those foozers don't seem to mess around. Thank you. 
Oh, jeez, giant spiders. Well, I guess that's better than giant scorpions. Come on, Marty. Maybe I should just kick these stalagmites. Oops, gave away too much. There is Marty and Toby Ad. Maybe not meant to be swimming around the ocean like this. Get me out of here! Uh oh, it's the infamous water cave spider. Better be more careful next time. Oh, come on! Now I gotta climb all the way back up. things around here. I got better things to do than splash around in the water like this. All that work wasted. It's a little windy up here. Too windy for us smaller creatures. Yeah, I noticed. I'm afraid some of the other lemurs may be stuck out there. Can you brave the wind and save them? Me? It's cold out there. Yes, but you are just large enough to survive the powerful gusts of wind, provided you get behind some of these barriers and use them as shelter until the wind passes. Oh, the evil wind! Bless you, zebra! Heroic one, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Maybe I ought to try ducking under these smaller barriers if I want to be safe from this wind. Danger approaches. I'm doing this. Zebra's not meant to be out in the wind. Help us, help us. Oh, 
the evil wind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some of these barriers aren't high enough to protect me from wind gusts. Might have to get low. Where are you, lemurs? I, I didn't save all the lemurs. I better get them all before moving on. Save us, heroic. Too many more of the lemurs to save. Pretty soon I'll need save. Oh, the evil wind! You're a saint in fur. Save us, heroic one. Bless you, zebra. Danger approaches. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Man, this wind is rough. I'm meant to get whacked around like this. Oh, the evil wind! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I can't believe I'm doing this. Zebra's not meant to be out in the wind. Looks like all those little guys are safe now. Wonder where everyone else ended up. Ah, separated again. Sheesh. Guess I'll ask one of the locals for directions. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. Do you speak English? Oh, guess not. I'd better get out of here and see if I can hook back up with the others. Too bad, though, because it does seem like a charming seaside resort. I wonder what the complaints department is around here. As far 
as I'm going. By this island standing. Hey! Hey! What's the big idea? I guess I better watch out for these guys. Seem to have a little bit of a rage problem. Hey guys, have you seen the rest of my friends? Oh, they must have gone up ahead to the alternate location for our party. Where exactly is that? I'm not sure yet, but we're starting to look for them. We must consider many things. First... Wow, it's a perfectly safe looking straight path. Let's go! Uh, guys? I think we might want to be careful around here. There are some very dangerous... I don't want to hear the end of any sentences. Now let's go. It's best just not to argue with him. Seriously, guys, there are some of those toothy, clawy things lurking around here. What do you call them? Fusa? <laughs> As king, I proclaim this a time of... PANIC! The king has spoken. That's it! No more Mr. Nice Lion! Fusa, it's on! Protect the lemurs! <laughs> Jeez! If I were here, these lemurs would be history! <laughs> this is definitely no resort hotel. Don't know what I was thinking earlier. <laughs> These Fusa 
aren't just rude, they're pure evil. Take this, you mangy fusa! Guys, have you noticed that the fusa are up above us now? Guys, have you no- oh. Wow, I'm really getting- Strange. Take this, you mangy fusa! This is unbelievable! I was almost certain that we were all going to die, yet here we are! Everyone accounted for! Unless we did die, and this is some extremely vivid dream. Sir, you're not dreaming. The mighty Alex has saved us all. Yes, yes, and now it's back to our village for a real celebration. Welcome, New York Giants. You come at an opportune time. We are preparing a veritable feast. Carrots, mushrooms, pineapple, cave onions, and for dessert, the melon tart. But we have none of these things. That is why we call on our industrious lemur minions. The uh, problem with preparing the feast is that uh, when the Fusa attacked, our food supplies were kind of wiped out. It's always something. Well, this should be quite a soiree. Who needs food? You can help greatly with some basic foraging. That sounds dangerous. Then would you consider collecting fruit and vegetables instead? That will do. It's settled then. Use the totems to switch between you and your three friends. You have each different abilities and can finish different tasks. Oh, one more thing. If you would like advice on where to look for the banquet items, you can return to me and I'll try and help you out. Go get him, tiger. who I was looking for. See, the roaches keep trying to steal the noogie nuts for the noogie nut noogie smoothie. You could, hmm, you can't spin them because you'd also fling the noogie nuts to kingdom come. Now why don't you find your three power cards and maybe you'll gain a new power that'll help you get those roaches. Melman! 
thank the great Peapod you're here. And you can head bash. Oh, this is looking good. I'm afraid to ask. These cockroaches are trying to steal our stash of noogie nuts for the noogie nut noogie smoothies. I need to get rid of them, but I'm too small. All oh, those roaches make me so mad I could just squeeze them really hard and yell at them. Ah! Why can't Alex do it? Well, the other New York giants scare them off only temporarily, so then they come back. But you, you can help. See, the cockroaches aren't afraid of you because you're afraid of them. But if you gather what courage you have, you can wait for them to come and then head bash them. Yeah! You said it, though. I'm scared of them. Then you can stand in the middle of the Nuki Nuts mound. They'll form a kind of protective barrier. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's right. And then bash the roaches when they come for the Nuki Nuts. Ha! That'll work! Oh, that's gross. Well, you do want Noogie Nut Noogie Smoothies, don't you? They're really, really good! All right, I'll do it. Noogie Noogie Noogie. 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 Noggy noggy, my noggy. Noggy noggy, noggy noggy, noggy noggy, my noggy, my noggy. Noggy noggy, noggy noggy, noggy noggy, noggy noggy, my noggy noggy. regular king of the jungle. Say, is that yoga you're doing? Oh, I'm just trying to get this fruit in. Oh, be still, my foolish heart. Excuse me? I'm Wilbur, and you are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. I must have you. Oh, please. You've got a much better chance of picking up the fruit, and that's not looking too good. Well, I, uh, you know, I, ju I, I just uh, can't lift that much right now because I injured my knee earlier doing uh, something really impressive. Say, maybe you could help me smash these melons I need to make my famous melon tort. And what's in it for me? Well, I could make you some to bring back for your grand jubilee feast. It's on. Oh, okay, great. We just have to smash these melons quick as they ripen. Otherwise, they spoil fast. And I only believe in using fresh fruit. <laughs> Thanks, baby. I can't stop. Now we're talking. Smash the watermelon. Could 
you hurry up a bit? Well, they'll probably take another day to ripen. Or You're back! Let's try again quick. That was like poetry in motion. We should get together on another date again soon. Another date? Well, Bert. Yes, but now I have to start making that melon tort I promised. Catch you later. Gloria needs her beauty. Don't sleep. worry, Marty's on the cake. Slides, see if you can pick up any fruit along the way. Marty, whatever that means.
anybody on this island eat fruit? Doesn't anyone want a juicy porterhouse? in a zoo. There'll be people to collect this food for us. without an audience. Oh, oh, well, hello there again, my gigantic friend. So nice to see you. Unfortunately, though, tis not much else I can see as I seem to have misplaced my glasses. Would you be a dear and guide me to the fruit plants that need my pollination help? Nice to see you again as well, and yes, I would be more than happy to help. Oh, of course you would. Such a nice boy you are. Now, I do have a strict order in which I must visit the various plants as their flowers reach full bloom. So pay close attention and be swift and sure with your guidance. First, we must go to the Crimson Crimsonian plant. It's very nearby. Next to the Blue 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 plant. Now the limey green one. Where is Periwinkle? I must have Periwinkle. You know Periwinkle, don't you? On to sea foam green. A lot like Periwinkle, but green. Light! Oh, I know you gave it your best, but I'm afraid we're not much better than we were to start. Oh, oh well, hello there. Find the flowers. Next to the blue, blue, blue plant. Now the lime green one. Where is Periwinkle? I must have Periwinkle. You know, on to sea foam green. A lot like Periwinkle, but green. Light! Only a couple more to go. Next, the wondrously rare gray plant. And finally, the dark black plant, as black as coal. job. In this grotto, the cave onions ripen. Harvest them quickly or the spiders will get them first. Spiders? We will be needing many cave onions for the marvelous, savory, fried, blossom spectacular. That's a lot of... Don't dilly-dally, the harvest season doesn't last that long. Hungry, and all they have is fruit. Onion. 
Well, you don't win friends with cave onions, people. Spectacular! Now we shall feast for days. Juicy sweet! Juicy sweet! Juicy sweet! Juicy sweet! They seem a bit too happy. Sorry, but I'm looking for that striped fella I saw earlier. I got a little wager to make with him, I do. over for a while. Gloria needs her beauty sleep. Don't worry, Marty's on the case. Hey, uh, so wish to challenge me to a jumping contest, do ya? Think you can jump farther than me, can ya? I didn't say anything about a jumping contest. We never even met before. Although, now that you mention it, yes, I guess I do think I can jump farther than you. Ah, well, how's about we make a little contest out of it, uh-huh? If you can out-jump me, I'll give you some of my frog fruit. Makes for a great gift, it does. And of course, if I win, I'd say a few words designed and intended to humiliate you. Sounds like a good deal. Let's see what you got, little frog. <laughs> So, I might have underestimated you, Zebra. You got Moxie, I'll give you that I will. But that was only the first jump it was. Let's see if you make the next one. <laughs> I'm going to let you in on a little secret, my friend. You still haven't seen my best jump yet. Been going easy on you, have. Got a feeling that's about to change, though. <laughs> Well, 
Looks like I've misjudged you, stranger. You got some real legs on you, uh-huh. Probably deserve a bit of frog fruit for your troubles, and I'm here to give it to you. Sorry, but I'm afraid this task requires your friend Alex exclusive. Get Alex! <laughs> <laughs> Carrots love growing in this garden, all right? But these nasty little moles like to uproot the plants before they're ripe. I need you to save the veggies by smashing the moles when everyone surfaces, all right? I can get with that. Cool! Show them your butts the boss and some of the fruits or uh, vegetables of your labor will be yours. Can you dig? Hope so. He can. Good luck, Gloria, all right? <laughs> Meddling hippo, you pay for this. You haven't seen the last of me. You showed that mole the way home. Here's your prize, Gloria. I wish to direct your attention to the mushroom you see growing here. Quite a delicacy in the taste, simply to die for. Mm. Of course, you know they're quite rare and grown under only the most specific conditions. You must repeat their colorful patterns exactly for the mushroom to grow. Repeat? You must repeat their colorful pattern for the mushy mushroom to grow. That's not what I meant. I mean, this game seems familiar somehow. Oh, I assure you, this is no game, my uncultured friend. This, this is art. Fine, let's get going. <laughs> Do keep going, be steadfast in your vigilance. I'm afraid this job is only for you, Alex. That's simply how life works. I apologize for not being of more assistance, but this is simply something you must do by yourself.
would love to help, but it's just not doable. <laughs> Well done! The precious mushroom has begun its celestial ballet! Start collecting! I'm really looking forward to some juicy pineapple at the banquet. I believe there is some to be found dangling up in a nearby tree. You'll have to be a good jumper to grab it. Out there, all right, pal? Go get whom? Why does everything have to be so dangerous? Ah, it is a jungle out there. Jeez, Mel. I'd expect that kind of horrible pun from Marty, but from you? Thank you, New York Giant, for helping us to find all the ingredients for all the wonderful food we will be providing for you at our super special and amazing banquet. In exchange for your help, we would like to give you a... The key to the jungle! Sir, we don't have a door to the jungle, much less a key. Well, what can we give them then? Well, it's a banquet. Just give them food. Ooh, good one. You know that key to the jungle thing, it gets sold. And what good would it do you anyway? I've changed my mind. I am in fact going to offer you lots and lots of food from our banquet. I thought we were going to get that in. Thank you so much. Right. Thanks.
Hey, Melman, have you seen Alex lately? He's not looking so good. Oh, dear. I knew it was only a matter of time until one of us contracted a disease indigenous to these new lands and passed it on to the rest. Our bodies aren't designed to survive in this environment. Do you understand, Gloria? Our bodies just aren't designed. Melman, you need to grab some downtime, buddy. I don't think Alex has any kind of disease. I think he's just getting really, really hungry. Did you notice he didn't eat a single thing at the banquet? Oh, that. Well, yes, I noticed, but that's just because we couldn't find a steak tree. Once we find one of those, he'll be eating like a sheep with enterotoxemia. Except hopefully he won't die afterwards. That's all well and good, except there's no such thing as a steak tree! Uh-oh. Now I'm back to being worried again. And that can lead to equine protozoal myelitis, or EPM for short. Melman, you're not getting equine proto whatever. We just need to figure out a way for Alex to get some steak. There's Maurice over there. Why don't you go ask him if he can help? Melman, thank the stars you're here. Hey, do you have any steak trees in this jungle? I am sorry, my friend, but I have not heard of such a thing. But if we did have this steak you speak of, it would have to be on this grand baobab tree. Unfortunately, though, it is festering with baobab worms. Perhaps you can help us save the tree from the worms and maybe find this thing you call steak. Good thing I'm not tall enough to see these. Oh, worms! Why didn't you tell me they were so horrible? I'm trying, Melman. You can save the tree and wipe out the worms and their nests by gliding to these mushroom platforms around the tree. Our bad buddies have supplied you with coconuts to fling at them. But I heard that worms in the nest are poisonous. My body cannot tolerate toxins. Then make sure you don't touch them. platform over there. Oh. 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 Oh, I've got enough problems already without having to deal with this. something clean, like antibacterial soaps or something. As much as I want to complain, there's something about flinging these coconuts I actually like.
I better watch out for those vultures. Maybe I can fling some coconuts at them. that these coconuts would be hairy? You saved the tree! I am especially intolerant to pain. Good news, Melman. We found the Baobab worm's primary colony. That's good news? Well, the good news is that we found them. The bad news is that they're breeding like crazy. We need to stop them. Pronto! That's terrible! It looks like there's quite an army of those filthy little creatures down there. Right. And that's where you come in. This time, instead of coconuts, you're going to have to fling these durian bombs down onto the worms and their nests. We're counting on you, Melman. Let's get a move on! Neck. Now find the next pile of durians and bomb the next colony. much higher, the risk of pulmonary edema increases tremendously. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now get to the next platform and do it again! Vertigo is just one of the many possible side effects. Maybe I should have mentioned my acrophobia before agreeing to do this goal? You've got to get down to the floor and mop up the last few before they can escape. Better make sure and take out all of these disgusting worms if this place is ever to be clean. Just one of these worms survives. The filth will never die. Oh, each of these worms is their own little ticking time bomb of contamination. Melvin, you did it. You're our hero. That was high pressure. You really stretched yourself. <laughs> Melman, I can't believe you! Since when are you such a stud? You totally saved the day! Don't suppose you're up for another little task? Hey, it's my turn. What's the job? Remember that out-of-control mole from the banquet? He and his friends have taken up residence underneath our garden! They're ruining it! Here's the situation, all right? I've been busting my hump to keep this garden productive, and these moles could care less, all right? You think you can help me? I'm game. What do you need me to do? All right. These bad boys come in three colors. The black ones are mild. The gray ones are wild. The brown ones are somewhere in the middle, all right? You show these pests you mean business, and I'll give you a point for the black, two for the brown, and three for those gray menaces. And if you can get enough points, my troubles will be literally buried. Literally. Come here, you little squirt. Show me strong. with the wrong guard and just do whatever it is you do. You can do even better, all right? Here's the situation, all right? Get the moles! Don't you moles have a rock to crawl back under? Keep these peppers coming! Ow! 
Come here, you little squirt. That is the spot. garden to do whatever it is you do. Here's the situation. Get the moles! I just can't get enough of these things. These peppers are making me crazy!
Have you seen your friend Alex lately? Alex? Oh, yeah, he's down there. I mean, have you seen his condition? It's making me very uncomfortable. You three look delicious tonight. <laughs> like to come down for, for dinner? This isn't good. I'm gonna go find Marty. Melman, we need to get across this valley to the cave over there if we want to catch up to the others. Alex seems to have developed a strange, unhealthy obsession with you, Mort. Yeah, you think? Your little helicopter spinning routine could come in handy. If you can fly me from one platform to another, we can avoid your crazed friend. Sounds doable, I guess. Just make sure to stay elevated and don't fall down to the ground level. Or, uh, well, let's just say you don't want to know what could happen. R Avoid Alex. <laughs> Alex, snap out of it! Go uncrazy or something! Mort! There's something I'd like to discuss! At last! This is horrible. I am especially intolerant to pain! Something I'd like to discuss with you. Alex must have gone completely crazy. I can't catch that, can I? Above the ground, I think I might have been a goner. Yeah, I'm getting worried about Marty and Gloria being down there. Less worried now. It seems your friend Alex has finally understood his predatory nature. Huh? What are you talking about? What I mean is, Alex is a lion and lions eat other animals. That's where steak comes from! Uh, still not getting it. Does this explain things, Melman? Alex just bit me on the butt! See? Yep, that is a bite on the butt, all right. Unless we all want to be steak, I suggest we beat it. this island before we all lose our minds. We need to rebuild Alex's rescue beacon so we can get out of here. Did I overhear something about a rescue beacon? I can take care of that for you. Really? Wilbur, I could just kiss you. If I hadn't already washed once today. Well, I've got good news and bad news. All right. Let's get the bad news over with first. The bad news is that your rescue beacon burned down. We know we'll never get off of Cannibal Island. Pipe down, Melman. So, tell us the good news. Well, there are some materials you could use for a new beacon scattered all over this beach. If you can find all of them, I know some lemurs that can probably put it together. So, uh, Gloria, 
How about that kiss? How about we get this beacon together first? this time. should attempt these kind of risky stunts. regular king of the jungle. Hey, why don't you go get your friend Melman? Hey, what?
Go get him, tiger. Melman, our scouts have located a crucial piece for the rescue beacon. It's resting on that rock over there, and I think you just might have the savvy to help us retrieve it. Savvy? I've got the savvy? Oh no, I'm gonna die! No, Melman, pull yourself together. Savvy means talent or ability. Oh, oh, phew. French words like that usually mean something terrible. Anyway, the plan here is to have you use that great long neck of yours to fling three lemurs onto that rock. Once you get them up there, they should be able to bring home the beacon. <laughs> Press the action button to charge up, then release when you're ready to throw. Melman, you still got two more to go. Whee! Yes! Be careful with this last one. You've got a long throw to make. Throw, that should do the trick. Now take your piece. I got it. I got it. to see you. What's wrong, Melman? Oh, wait, I forgot everything. <laughs> hey, Zebra. Those tortoises are giving me trouble. They keep knocking the fruit out of my tree. I tried asking them to stop, but that only seemed to excite them all the more. C can you take them out for me? No problem. Those turtles won't be bothering you or your fruit anymore. Let's just say I'm gonna make them an offer they can't refuse. Oh, that's great. Uh, thanks a million. You do mean you're gonna kick them, right? Right. You turtles have just met your match. Well, better than your match, actually. These shells are made for kids. Whatever happened to the slow? This is a complete weapon. I better be more careful from now on. Turtles have just met your match. Well, better than your match, actually. These shells are made for... Oh, no. Zebra's not meant to get whacked around like this. 
Hey, zebra! Protect the fruit tree! Whatever happened to the slow, nice turtle? Shells are made for kicking. What ever happened to the slow, nice turtle? You've done it! Those turtles never knew what hit them. You take this piece for the rescue beacon back while I sit here and eat a lot, okay? Don't call me baby. Take over for a while. Gloria needs her beauty. Don't sleep. worry, Marty's on the case. Undeveloped. My pupils can defeat you. Is that ridiculous accent real? No, of course not. But you will still lose. Number one, defeat him. You better watch it. I ain't one of those wimpy nature video zebras. <laughs> One sucked anyway. Number two, take him out. Don't mess with me, man. Oh, come on. Now I got the 
Crocs mad at me too? You want to battle? One sucked anyway. No See, you've defeated my pupils. Your technique is not as weak as I suspected. But now you must fight the ultimate enemy. Technique is impressive. You have defeated me. Just put back here. is a bad case crops. of snorpulitis. regular king of the jungle. Hey, baby. I've got a little problemo with these crabs. Oh, joy. They're always pinching me, and believe it or not, I'm not quite as quick on these cloven hooves as I used to be. Maybe you can squash some of them for me? If it helps me find a piece for the beacon, I'm a squashing machine. Well, if you can squash enough of them in time, there's a piece of the rescue beacon in it for you, as well as some quality face time with yours truly. Look, but don't... Nice work. Now what say we talk about us?
Only a trained professional should attempt these kind of risky stunts. Hey, could you ask your cute hippo friend to come over here? I have a special job for her. Gloria, you should have seen me out there. Yep, Malman, you're a regular king of the jungle. Well, hello again. I think one of the pieces for the rescue beacon is hidden inside these crates. Let's say we harness our natural chemistry and work together to smash open the crates before the tide rolls in and takes them out to sea. the crate. Beacon pieces to find. This isn't going to work for me, honey. Let's go back to the land and get back to business. Well, hello again. Smash the crate.
Teamwork. I must say that we complement each other well. Teamwork? But you didn't open a single crate. Uh, no. I, I definitely took out a few. <sighs> At least I got another piece for the rescue beacon. Thanks, I guess. Now, Gloria, I believe we have the matter of a kiss to discuss? Oh, yeah! Pucker up and close your eyes and you will get a big surprise. Psst. Melman, you do it. Not a chance. Who knows where that snout's been? Just picture him as a big giant peanut. Plus, I'll make it up to you. Kiss. I shut my eyes, but I still see. Me too. Well, it's over now, so we just wait here and... Uh, Marty, you okay? I just... I can't live without Alex. But Marty, he tried to eat you. Well, I probably deserved it for getting us into this mess. And besides, I'd gladly take a thousand bites on the butt if it means saving my friend. A hundred. A dozen. Three. You can stay here and keep an eye out. I'm going back for Alex. You don't even know where he is. I'll find some help. See ya! to visit us. Do come in and take a look at our many one-of-a-kind sale items. Lovely day for us, old boy. Ah, yes. Ooh, Phil is excited about the newest edition. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it, old boy. Since you have been such a good boy. Lovely day for it, old boy. Splendid old bean. this island without Alex and I don't have much time. Can you tell me the fastest way to get to him? Have you tried Toad Road? Will it take me to Alex quickly? Uh, no. It's actually a longer route and it's full of toads. Lots and lots of toads. Then there's Apple Passage. If you like apples. I don't care about apples or toads. I'm looking for Alex. My friend, the lion. I need you to focus, Mart. Is there any faster route? Well, if you want to get there as quickly as possible, I'm afraid your only chance is to take the No Chance of Survival Trail over there. Now that sounds promising. Well, the name is misleading. It's really more of a pathway than a trail. That's not the part that... And you'll be pleased to know that it's an apple-less, toad-free environment. I guess we'll have to take our chances with the No Chance of Survival Trail. Let's go! 
Checkpoints quickly, or I uh, <laughs> might not be there to meet you. What do you mean? You got big plans tonight or something? No. The other creatures in this jungle may have plans to eat small, unattended animals that don't keep moving along at a fast pace. <laughs> gotcha. I'll try to hurt. <laughs> entrance right here. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe we should enter this cave entrance. Wow! I just had exactly the same idea. There's a real synergy between us. Can you feel it? It's downright spooky. This looks like a dead end to me, Mort. Now what? I couldn't help but over here. You guys must need a path through this area. Well, I just might be able to clear one for you. But I'm gonna need vitamins. So what do you want us to do? Just go to the mall and pick up some B12? Yeah, what's a B12? I'm talking about fruit. And this tree is just chock full of it. But that spider up there keeps shaking it loose. I tried bouncing on these mushrooms to get some air and catch the fruit before it falls and splatters, but it seems my rather ample frame has left me vertically challenged. Interesting. So what you need is someone small enough to be able to bounce up and grab the fruit before it hits the ground. Hey, Mort. You know anyone like that? Well, I don't see... Oh, you mean me, right? No, I'm talking about the other disgustingly cute furry animal right in front of me. Come on, we're running out of time. Oh, and watch out for the durian fruit. Like most good-hearted people, I hate that stuff. Only pick up cherries, limes, oranges, bananas, and ooh, maybe even an apple or two. your thing. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Check this out, man. That 
it? All you did was push over a rock? This ain't no dead end. I'm about to open a can of whoop a butt on you, what hog? Uh, I, uh, um, what about your friend, though, huh? Don't you have somewhere to be? Yeah, I do. You got lucky this time. Oh, boy! It's the great Florgendorf slide, named after Hans Florgendorf, who was regrettably killed during an unfortunate sliding accident. Great, just what we need. Oh, date. Oh, no, 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 the slide isn't dangerous at all. Hans Florgendorf just made the foolish decision to go down this side on a homemade sledding device, which somehow instantly burst into flames. So as long as we're not going down in Hans Florgendorf's homemade sled, we should be fine? Absolutely. And just use the slide's natural springs to propel yourself down faster. That's easy. Watch this. You just drop down and... spider cave area by yourself and we can move on to the next area. Whatever happened to Senate? Though I guess that's better than giant scorpions. Beyond these caves, all you have to do Yoink. is. What the? <laughs> hey, give me back my little friend. I need him to find my big friend. And I don't think you want to mess with this again. Ah, yes. When last we met, I tried to fight to no avail. 
This time, uh, I attempt something new. I throw Mort in my mouth. <gasps> Perhaps I cannot defeat you in combat, but I am swift of feet. Try to reach the bottom of this slide as soon as possible, and I will do the same. First one down wins the right to eat Mort. Hmm, I hear he tastes like chicken. Begin! Ah, you are too slow, my friend! Hey! I bit Marty! I don't know what's happened to me! Whoa! Not a good neighborhood! Come on, guys! Can't we all just get along? I am seriously outnumbered! All right, hello! Penguins? This is an airborne supply drop, compadre. Grab those power cards and your firepower will be increased! Good luck. We're gonna secure the perimeter. Wow! Claws! Check these babies out! Get a grip on yourselves!
What is wrong with <laughs> all of those durians. Ew! I can't believe he's actually eating them! Those durians taste disgusting! <laughs> you better get it together sooner, I'll be toast! Not cool! Thank <laughs> you. 
the king! Take that, you mangy fusa! show you to mess with the zebra. Marty, what are you doing here? Saving you. What does it look like? Yeah, nice work. Uh, I am so glad to see you, Marty. Aw, uh, I'd say we tie this chump up and give him to the penguins. They'll know how to keep him out of trouble. Giants, for what you have done, we will never forgive you. Forget you. That's what I said. I've really grown to love you, little guy. Me too. My immune system is starting to get used to the indigenous bacteria in all your fur. Oh! With their leader defeated, our people are now free to ravage the Fusalands of anything edible. I hereby pronounce the party celebrating the preparations for the party honoring our liberator to begin immediately following the pre-pre-parties! Pre-party parties! Well, it's good to be back together again. Giants, your friends await. Impressive work back there, soldier. Yeah. Thanks for your help, but I thought you guys waddled off to Antarctica. Antarctica. Nothing but a bunch of ice. Well, looks like we arrived just in the nick of time. It's great meeting you, Lemurs. Lemurs. Well, Maurice, everybody's happy. Once again, I have saved the day. Of course, Your Majesty.